guys, welcome back to another episode of Be the Be Sky Adventures with me. I am Haley, and we are picking up sometime after we left off, guys. I know you may have noticed last week there was not an episode, but my apologies. I did have some things that come up, even with all the crazy things in the world. Uh, my work schedule has uh, gone crazy, but you know, I cannot complain because I know there are a lot of people, a lot of you guys out there that are probably uh, not able to work right now, and my heart goes out to you and your family. So, uh, let's jump in this video and get started. So, I'll give you guys some kind of content. <laughs> Anyway, last time we left off, we finished off our little flux armor. So you can see we got a little armor sets over here. We've got our flux armor as well as our wyvern armor. And I'm currently wearing the draconic armor. And I think the next armor set's actually the quantum suit, which I think comes from blood magic. So we'll get into that at some point. Uh, maybe talk about this episode, maybe not. Um, I do want to talk about, uh, thank you to Linda that she has a very good comment about the fact that uh, where my scrap boxes. Because scrap boxes make the matter fabricated the matter fabricator will <laughs> go a lot faster in approving it and i had this all set up a few episodes ago maybe towards the beginning of the series i had made scrap for something i was, I was trying to get but basically if you put anything in this recycler here it'll turn it into scrap and i think about nine of the scrap turn into scrap boxes uh yeah nine of the scrap will turn into scrap boxes and i had this all set up um i brought it from outside to in here but i forgot the power of the crafter I'm just smacking my head now. You guys probably can't hear that. But yeah, I forgot the power of the crafter. So um, right now my issue is my little chicken, you know, he's pumping out as much wood as he can. And uh, my recycler, I actually did upgrade with overclockers as well. So it's, it's going as fast as it can. I put it down where I've got four overclockers in here. And we'll talk about that because that is one of the quests too. But I don't know how best to automate that the overclockers require a lot of things that don't require emc insulated copper cables for example um oops the batteries and the coolant we talked about that and when we were talking about the you you matter anyway but um so i i have to make 16 of those and i think that gives only uh, only ten dollars for 16 so if i can find a way to automate that better we'll get into that we want to get into blood magic today to talk about the trans transposition reagent but before i did that i did um like i said i've got my little uh, pedestal over here with the watch of flowing time we made that several episodes ago that's just dark matter obsidian glowstone and a clock and it increases the ticks of uh, machines that are close to it or blocks that are close to it so it's even making my chicken pump out a little bit faster it's making the recycler go faster everything's going faster now because of this i think i can actually um stack the effect of that uh, but i may actually just also put more chickens around here just to poop in more stuff uh, for the recycler so it'll you know just move more stuff around uh, right now i've got about a bucket and a half luckily this quest only requires a stone drum which is 16 buckets of uu matter to get a hundred dollars so i'm going to look into steve about making things faster the overclockers do work on the recycler so that does help which actually makes the matter fabricator go faster but i just can't get enough stuff in the recycler even uh, to keep that going faster so i just need to pump a lot of crap into the recycler so that's been my goal going forward um i just have like lots and lots of chickens going through but what we want to work on today we wanted to get into blood magic uh because we want to get into this transpos transposition reagent transposition and that is in a hellfire forge it's actually not that hard to get into but um, I'm going to require something that's going to at least need 1500 will and most of the things in blood magic does not have EMC so this is going to be a little bit of a grind but I want to get started at least on the episode to show you what I'll be doing off camera so um come outside close all this stuff out uh, you can see i've already got the altar kind of set up here uh this is all the way up to a tier six altar which we don't need but that most of the items are going to require um at least up to tier four so and you have to make it in the hellfire forge which is here the hellfire forge really easy to make i didn't even see this recipe it's just gold ingots and uh, uh gold iron and stone so that's gonna be really easy to make but if you go back and look at the recipe so we're going to see what we're going to have to do. We're going to need to make this teleposer. And the teleposer is going to require a teleposition focus. I hope I'm saying those words correctly. And that requires up to a tier 4. So that's why I think tier 4 is about as high as we need to go. And it's not that hard to get into it. It's just a bit of a grind to get into that part. Uh, the other thing we're going to have to get, like I said, is some of these wills. And none of these wills have EMC. 
So we're going to grind our way up to the wheels, which is why I have set up a new spawning type thing. Now, this is actually from Industrial Foregoing. And so it's, it's uh, before I had the, the spawner from um, RF Tools. But this one's actually really cool. And we now have the materials to do it. So basically, there's something called a mob duplicator. So we had used the mob imprisonment tool before to get, um, to get a mob into the spawner. Um, that's how we got the wither skeletons and i think we need it i think it's what i did okay so you have the wither skeletons from that so uh what i'm going to do let me go ahead and take out a few torches in an area because i want to use zombies because zombies are somewhat fairly easy to kill especially since i don't have uh to worry about damage as much with this armor on it's very very awesome so let me take out these torches over here and we're going to see i can probably use non-hostile mods i'm looking at pigs and chickens over there but uh i kind of want to use zombies because zombies you know i just don't like zombies <laughs> all right so but the mob duplicator let me show you the recipe for that so the mob duplicator is just plastic magma cream simple machine chest is redstone nether wart and emerald we have all of that stuff from uh things that we made earlier As a matter of fact they were already all on my table so there's no should be no issues there i got a creeper that popped up come on show me a zombie you don't want to have any friends? Is it because it's raining? Really? I thought mobs spawn even when it's raining. Okay, go away, creeper. I don't want to play with you right now. Um, okay, so the mob duplicator, if I go in here, because uh, it's very easy to make, but what I actually need to get inside of it is a fluid essence. So there's actual essence we're going to have to work on as well. Essence can be made in something called a fluid fluid dictionary converter um so it can actually turn liquid xp ah, you can probably see where i'm going from here because we have a ton of liquid xp from one of the quests we were making and i can use that to convert that into essence the fluid dictionary converter is just plastic machine frame glass two buckets and an iron gear so all that's pretty easy to make and it does not require power now before you actually oh, aha I see, a, I see a zombie so be right back hang on let me get over here and snatch up this zombie. Hi, boop, okay. And it's turning daytime, so I'll just let you know nature happen. Um, but the fluid converter does not require power. But if you look at the little arrows here, you can see what you actually want to convert it to. I highly suggest, as a matter of fact, I just totally recommend it, that you actually put your what you need your selections in here before you select your conversions because if you select the wrong one because the other options is essence of knowledge you have to break it and kind of start over to drain everything out so we're going to tell it we want to put liquid essence in here and it's going to put it in uh, convert it over to essence um liquid xp to convert to essence and then we're going to extract that out of here into the mob duplicator so what i'm going to go upstairs and do let's wander upstairs and grab one of those uh, drums uh, for the XP. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and get an empty one so we can replace this. Put that, that, and that up. All right, so upstairs we go because we're going to need a lot of will. And the way to get will, we're going to make a specific sword and we're going to use that sword uh, to, get, um, to get will. So let's go ahead and drop the empty one down here. There we go. And we'll take this and we're going to begin blood magic by getting the blood out of, yeah, <laughs> by getting the blood out of all these mobs. Now it's raining, so those guys didn't die, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to be in here for just a second. So let me go ahead and drop this down here. So that's going to extract the juice out of there. It's going to put it in here, and then it's going to start converting it into essence. And it's going to put the essence over here. Wow, that was very, very quick <laughs> because we got 4 million buckets over there. Now, so the first thing we have to do, uh, if I look in the quest here, I went ahead and made the rudimentary, rudimentary snare. It's very easy to make. It's just string, iron, and redstone. So that gives you four of those. So what you're going to do, you're going to thread on a monster and then kill it to obtain their demonic will. So that's how you get started. So let's go ahead and put the zombie in here and we're going to try to throw oh. oh there we go of course it's daytime so it's probably not going to luckily these have emc oh there we go he's sparkling so you had to wait till they sparkle i don't even have a sword on me so when they sparkle s w o r d when they sparkle they uh they actually will give you what you need so 
go ahead and kill all these guys. Hopefully I get the ones that I actually need. And I can turn this off. I need to set stuff with a lever so I can turn it off when I want. Uh, hopefully, yeah, see that in the third hot spot there? The hot bar right there? I've got a demonic will with a will quantity of 4.85. So we're going to leave this off for right now. Um, I'm going to set this up with a redstone signal. So it doesn't just keep pumping it out because I have pretty much uh, instant fluid going into it right now. Uh, let's see if I turn this on. Always active. Off. Nope, that's still going. That's still going. Active on redstone. I'm sorry. I have to kill you. There you go. Uh, let's put that there. There we go. Now it's off. All right. So. Now, we're going to take this wheel, and we're going to go ahead and craft our blood altar. That's the first thing we actually need. So, let's go through the quest items here. doesn't even have us make the altar. It just wants us to start making the dagger and everything. Uh, okay. So, let's put these items up. I'm going to keep the loot bags. I think there's a loot bag opener I need to get into making. Um, but, let's go ahead and say blood altar. Okay, so we're going to make a tier one blood altar. It just requires a furnace stone, two gold, and that demonic wheel that we just got there. So let's grab a stone. Uh, I think it's cobblestone. Pretty sure it's just cobblestone. No, it's actually stone stone. One, two, three, four. Uh, get some gold. Two gold. A furnace. And the demonic wheel, which we already have. And bam, we have our blood altar. So we're going to be able to start making the room. So again, this is not going to take a while to get started because uh, these runes are, do not have EMC. And I'm going to need to have blood for it. So that's what we're going to go ahead and go through next. Put that there. We now have a tier one blood altar. So all these stone blocks here are going to have to be replaced with different kind of runes. Uh, you have your blank runes. And then we have specialty runes that give you kind of different buffs for it. All right. Let's see what the next thing wants us to make. So we need to get blood in here. And the best way we're going to actually do that is to actually get... Um, the sacrificial dagger because what this will do is basically going to let me prick my finger and I'm going to bleed into the altar. So this is because uh, you have a sacrificial dagger, which is just okay, gold, iron, okay, okay, gold, iron, and glowstone. So the sacrificial dagger will be your own finger, and there's a dagger of sacrifice which allows you to, um, I guess, kill mobs. And it'll put their their juice into their blood into it. All right, let's see. So I need iron, iron ingot. I'm gonna need a gold ingot, and then I'm gonna need some glass. All right, one two. I think it was like four pieces of glass, something like that. All right, so now we have us our dagger. Uh, let's go ahead and learn it because I'm gonna have to submit it for the quest. And oh. <laughs> let me grab it first uh let's go ahead and come click complete and it'll take it and that was five dollars the dagger of sacrifice is the next quest uh that i said we just need for the to actually get other stuff but the sentient sword this one this one here is what's going to give us more will so we're going to talk we talked about will a second ago i think i need another one sentient sword uh Ah, I have to make this in the Hellfire Forge. So let's go ahead and make the Hellfire Forge, which is just iron. Uh, see, I need an iron block and a couple iron ingots. Gold. And some stone. I believe it was actual stone stone, not one, two, three, four. Four is what I said. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, Hellfire Forge. All right, so now we have our Hellfire Forge. I'm just going to set that. We'll just set it down here. We'll keep it in the middle of everything we got going on. So you see there's slots here. And so I'm going to need to make a Tartaric Gems. Now, I made a series a while back called Sky Factory. And I went through this and not really much has changed on Blood Magic from, I think it was like a 110 pack to 112, even 114 for Blood Magic. So uh, if you really want a detailed scenario of how to get to Tartaric Gems, go back and check some of those videos. I think if you Google it, my video pops up. All right, let's go ahead and put this in a wallet. And we're going to, let's see, we're going to, what? What are the things we need to make? We wanted to make a dagger of sacrifice. 
uh, that's just actually an iron sword in the blood altar. So that requires, now if you see here, I need a tier two blood altar. I only have a tier one currently, and it requires 3000 LP. So in order to make a tier two blood altar, I need to make a bunch of runes. I'm gonna do this in between episodes because the runes require lots of stone, these blank slates, and a master blood orb. In order to get the blank slates, I have to put stone in a tier one altar well, at least a thousand LP. So that's what's going to, what I do with that dagger? I'll put it, I'll save it. <laughs> uh, dagger. Now there are some other things I could do to help and I, I'll probably do a lot of that in between episodes. There's these little rituals that you can do. Uh, luckily I have all of these um, regen abilities here. So that's putting blood into the blood altar. I can actually see how much is in there now. So there is actually a buffer in the blood altar. I think of a, it's a 10,000. So you'll see it draining uh, blood until you get that buffer filled for it. And then it'll actually fill. So it's going to require a lot of juice to get in there. But uh, I'll do most of that in between episodes. Now, to get the sentient sword. Because we're going to need to go to uh, do these things. I'm going to need a petty tartaric gem. A petty tartaric gem. It's hard to say. I'm going to need, need a little bit of will here. So you can see if I hover over the arrow, it tells you what it needs. So I need a minimum of something that has one will in it. And it's going to take that one will out. So remember when we killed, um, we made, made those, uh, we uh, killed a couple of zombies. And it gave us a will that will said it had four in it. So we're going to try to get us another will. So to get started in blood magic, you need at least two wills, one for your altar and one for your sentient sword. And so we're going to try to we get thrown with the snares until they get little white sparklies. Okay, no sparklies on that. Hang on. I know, I know. I just need to turn this lever off. Thank you. All right, let me go ahead and get some more snares. So I'm so happy these have EMC. Let's just grab a stack. Apparently a stack of 16. All right, can, can one, there you go. See the little white swirlies? That's what you want to get. So we're just going to kill, kill the zombies. And we get one of the wills. This one has, oh, this is a poor quality will. It only has 0.19. So we have to keep doing this because we need one that has at least one will in it. And since it's daytime, since I didn't cover this up. Um, okay, there we go. Maybe if I block the sun for them. Yeah, stand under me. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and slice and dice them up. See if we can get another wheel. Let's turn this off. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I know. I know. <laughs> Let's see. We got one that has 1.7 in it, so that will do. So let's go over here to our, our Hellfire Forge, and we're going to put in this wheel here. And so what were the ingredients we needed to do to make the um, the tartaric gem? We're going to need redstone, gold, lapis, or blue dye, any kind of blue dye, and glass. So let's go ahead and grab some, put these items up. I need redstone, gold, uh, lapis, and glass, which I already have. So let's go ahead and pop all of that in here. And what you'll see, watch this item on the side. You're going to see it's going to juice up. It's going to take in all that will from that. It needs at least one will. And it's going to bring it down to 0.7. So now we have a petty tartaric gem. Now let's look at the tartaric gems. Tartaric gems. Remember the recipe we actually need requires something that has 1500 will in it. So if you look at the gems, they are progression. So if you look at the ones that are filled here, the petty tartaric gem only has 64, can hold up to 64 will. So we're going to make this sword and you'll see as I kill mobs with that specific sword, it's going to fill up that gem. See, it's got a little fill bar down here at the bottom. You see a little fill bar up with juice. <laughs> I call it will juice up to 64. The next tier up, the lesser tartaric gem, it needs a petty tartaric gem. So you're going to have to make at least two petty tartaric gems. That one holds 256. You have to kill mobs to keep that doing. So that's why I say it's going to be a grind. I'm going to work on that in between episodes. So when I come back, I'll be able to have the stuff I need to go ahead and make it. Uh, the next one up is the common tartaric gem that has a 1,024. And then the greater tartaric gem has 4,096. So the each one requires the one before it. So that the, the 
a common one requires a lesser one. The greater one requires a common tartar exam, as well as some more of these items here that we'll talk about in the next episode. So in between, I'm going to make a bunch of runes. I'm going to drain a lot of my blood. You'll see some new stuff in here. Blood, blood magic is, a, I think it's one of my favorite magic mods. But Tanya is fun, but blood magic can be cool, especially if you can automate it. I need to put those torches back over there. I see those guys spawning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work on that. Now, I'm also going to take a look at the quantum because I believe this, oh, this is not, oh, it's not from Blood Magic. I thought it was from Blood Magic. We did talk about this last time. This is from Industrial Craft, which is going to be a grind. Yeah, we talked about that last time. Not going to worry about it too much. Um, but maybe the last suit, the armor suit is, um, See, we're going to go down. Yeah, we need to actually finish up some of these quests too. I've done most of the things here. Uh, let's see. Uh, the gem. This one is from Project E. Okay. Well, we're going to continue on Blood Magic in the next episode. In between, I'm going to get a lot of things set up to get my blood going. But you guys kind of get the gist of it. All of this just to get a transposition region. And what does that even pay? Does that pay out something good? Because I don't know how to automate it. $25. You know what? Not too bad. At least we're going to get through it. And uh, we probably can set up automation once we get a lot of blood going. So anyway, guys, I do want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and are still enjoying this series. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down in the comment section. I did not make that sword. I was supposed to make the sentient sword. Uh, sentient sword. <laughs> Let's do that first. The sentient sword requires a gem and... Oh, a free will. Okay, I got an empty well. Let me get a sword, iron sword, iron sword, iron sword. It's not that hard today. So I've got an empty, well, not an empty will, a cheap will here. So if I put the gem here, so I actually have to use this in the craft part of it. So I need another one. Oh, it's using that one. Hey, that works. All right, so now we have our sentient sword. So I have to make another petty tartar gem. <laughs> Gosh, it takes forever, guys, to do all this stuff. But yeah, once I kill items with the sword, it'll start filling it up. So I'm going to work through that in between episodes. Anyway, questions, comments, leave it down in the comment section. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, and that notification bell to be notified when new episodes come out. Now, if you want to hang out with me and any of the other squad members, you can do so by becoming one of our Patreons. Click on the Patreon link in the description field to see all of the fun, awesome awards we have for you to choose from, such as hanging out with us on our Discord and chit chat with this all the same give me your will ah oh, that one has three in it yay <laughs> now if you want a server to play with or um, pay with your friends head on over to host havoc host havoc is who we use for all the multiplayer series as well as those patreon servers i spoke about earlier all right well i think i've got my work cut out for me guys until next time i'll talk to you later bye guys